Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to uh, animate some icons in Adobe After Effects. We are going to produce this animation, Falling Coin, right in the piggy bank. And as always, if you want to follow along this animation tutorial, you can uh, download the freebie file, this uh, Adobe Illustrator vector um, icon, or you can uh, do it by yourself, just uh, follow the second link in the description and you you can watch my uh, the speed drawing video in Adobe Illustrator how I create this icon. So if you open this freebie file and you follow in with me, uh, we need to adjust and rename some layers. So first of all, I want to delete some branding from here and delete this layer with this branding. I want to move this hole into the big layer, this second from bottom. Then I want to uh, merge my outline with my uh, solid color on my coin. And I also want to uh, grab the shading, third layer from bottom and um, drag it to the second layer from bottom to make the peak layer. Then I want to rename this peak as a peak layer, uh, background as a BG layer, and uh, outlines as the peak outlines layer. I name my layer with coin to coin, actually. So just double click on the name and these lines to as a trace. So my last layer and I want to delete this layer from top, so I have this five layer. I make some refinement to my Adobe Illustrator work. We name some layers and we're ready to open them into Adobe After Effects. So create a new comp. Click on this icon, and I want to name this coin as uh, Loading Fonts. Loading Fonts. Uh, then I want to uh, set the width of this comp to 1920, high to 80. Uh, duration of my composition to uh, 5 uh, seconds 10 frames and frame rate to 29.97 so click ok and we have this comp now i want to load our adobe illustrator file this is it i want to simply drag it in the composition uh, composition panel and i want to uh, set the import kind to composition click ok uh, now I want to click on the share on icon on this uh, <coughs> to open this folder and I want to select all of them holding shift key and drag to my <coughs> animation layer so my keyframe layer then I want to click on this uh, free space keep them selected I want to click on this free space uh, below this uh, icon to continuously rasterize all of them and uh, next I want to use my right, right mouse button key and uh, I want to uh, choose create shapes from vector layer so now we are a u using original After Effects shapes not vector files and we can delete all Adobe Illustrator files one by one so after you doing that, uh, we can uh, select our top layer, its trace, these lines, and click on this Pickwick icon here, this Pickwick icon to parent it to the uh, our coin, this second layer from bottom. And I also want to select this coin, and using Control right bracket, I want to set it to the top. So it's now uh, not second from bottom; it's now second from top. And let's start our animation. Click on this transform to open the position and click on the stopwatch, uh, stopwatch to uh, make uh, set your first keyframe. And I want to drag the second slider, its Y uh, position, uh, it's our vertical position, scale down a little bit my artwork with the scroll. And I want to move my coin uh, far away away from my composition oh well and uh, around one let's say 169 170 so my next step is to create second keyframe so move your slider to the 20 frames and i want to this coin i want this coin to fall so i want to uh, 
adjust my Y position to around this level so it's right beneath this hole and let me preview my animation we have this kind of uh, falling hell so click on the position to select both of them and now use ctrl shift f9 to uh, easy out all of your keyframes so as you can see it's now easy out uh, them and last step that we need to do is we need to alt uh, hold alt and click left mouse button key on this stopwatch or uh, hold option if you working on mac and here i want to loop loop out uh, we use capital o here and double parenthesis to create an expression that allows us uh, to move this coin continuously uh, and uh, I also want to copy, select this 20 frames keyframe, our last keyframe, Ctrl C to copy that and I want to move my slider to one second and Ctrl V to paste this keyframe. Uh, it creates this kind of uh, animation. So it uh, looks not that uh, well, but it's something. So. Next, uh, we need to select our trace layer and go to the to the contents. And here we need to click on this this icon add. And uh, here we need to select trim path. And I want to trim the path of this animation. First of all, I want to click on the chevron icon and click on the start stopwatch to start our animation. And then I want to slider so it's now it's visible uh, to around 10 frames and i want to start my animation as 10 frames is i want to set it to 10 percent then i want to go to the around i want to actually use my page down use page down to move it to around 5 keyframes and here i want to set a value of start to 40 and then I want to move it to 20 keyframes and uh, set it to uh, 100%. So as you can see, this creates this animation and click left mouse button holding your alt key. And here you, I want to use my expression loop out capital O and parenthesis and here you are. Now we have this. I'm sorry, something goes wrong. Oh, I understand why. Ctrl C. I want, also want to select my last keyframe from here, from 20 frames. And paste it here on my one second. So we have this kind of animation now. This uh, is continuously looping. And I also want to select all of them, Ctrl Shift F9 to easy out all of them. So we have all of the animation here, but as you can see, we have our coin on top and I want coin to be hidden when it's uh, fallen into the hole. And to hide my coin, I simply want to create a new shape layer. I also can mask this coin when it's uh, falling to the hole, but uh, I prefer a more simpler solution and uh, a more quick to do solution. And I want to change this uh, to the pink color. And as you can see, my shape layer on top. And as you can see now, let me preview my coin is falling right into the hole and uh, and disappear and our next step is to animate our peak so it's kind of fill up with the gold uh, and to do that we need to open the peak layer and ctrl c ctrl v to do to make a duplicate keep this duplicate selected and move this duplicate with ctrl shift right bracket to the top right to the top and here i want to open the contents and as you can see we have this kind of groups first two groups is our shadows 
and uh, I want to delete this hole and I also want to delete this kind of hole so I have only three uh, groups group 1, group 2 and group 5 now and uh, then I want to select first two groups and uh, set the fill color to this very light gray then I want to set the blending mode to multiply for both of them and I also want to select this uh, on the bottom this is group 5 and change the color of this let's say this yellow orange color and then I want to mask it so to make a mask uh, go to your rectangle tool then click on this little tiny icon here uh, create your mask this mask should be wider than the peak uh, width of our peak so uh, we have this mask and I want to place it right beneath my peak in the level of this uh, shadow and next I want to animate this actually when my uh, coin is falling as you can see it's falling now and I want to set open the mask clicking on the chevron icon and select uh, clicking on this mask path uh, stopwatch so now it's a good time uh, to speed up my tutorial because every single second I will repeat the same steps. First of all I will set my starting point to the position at 20 frames. Then I'll move my slider to the position of 23 keyframes uh, using my page uh, down key. And I will drag my uh, mask to the top. Then I will set my uh, slider to the position of 26-27 keyframes and uh, I will drag my uh, mask to the bottom uh, to create a bounce effect. And then I will copy my second keyframe at position of 23-24 and end up my animation uh, at the position of 1 second. And then I will repeat my animation, this kind of steps, for every single second in this composition. So I'll repeat it four times. So we now uh, at the point when we need to enlarge our mask and for doing that uh, double click on your mask. Now we, you can see this bounding box, just drag this bounding box up a little bit. Our peak is loading and Ctrl Shift F9 to make it a little bit more natural. Uh, easy out. So, and last, what I want to do, I want to create this effect that uh, the whole composition is uh, appears from nowhere and then uh, disappears again, scale it back to 0%. Uh, for, for doing that, uh, we need to select all of our shapes, all of our seven layers, to uh, precompose them. Falling coin animation. Then I want to uh, open this composition transform property, and I want to animate my scale. So I click on this scale. I want to move my slider to the 10 frame position and then I want to uh, click on the stopwatch to scale. This is our final result and then I want to return to 0 frames and I want to scale it to 0. Then I want to go to my 5 seconds and uh, copy this keyframe 100% and I want to go to my 5 
uh, seconds and 10 frames and copy my first keyframe, 0. Then I want to select all of my keyframes and easy out them. Ctrl Shift uh, F9 or Command Shift F9. This will add this kind of effect and uh, then disappear it again. But I want to make it more pleasing. I want to select this kind of expression here from a forum creative colonnade and this will add this bound. You can find the link to this uh, expression in the, my description. And uh, I want to Alt click or Option click on the scale and simply Ctrl V to paste this whole of this keyframe. And what it gives, it gives us this nice bounce effect. So this is the end of our tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. Thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.